Okay, today we are gonna come to one of my favorite stores, the Yakuen store. Everything, one dollar. Come see what wonderful things we can buy for just one dollar. So this is one of my favorite stores to come to because one thing, I can afford everything, huh? But also, there's so many useful and unique things to Japan that I find here. Come with me. I want to go to the toys. Okay, you go to the toys. Okay, so here's always all the seasonal. Right now it's Halloween. I don't decorate for Halloween, I decorate for fall. But it's great because like you can buy these little bags for candies and for plates. And they have all this such cute tape and it's all just such cute designs. And they have oh, cookie cutters. But like I love the pumpkin. I'm not a huge ghost fan. I wish they sold just the pumpkin. Actually, I might just buy this because I like that pumpkin. Okay, I might buy it. And they even sell live plants. Look, you can buy tiny little cactuses. So cute. So in this section, we have all our cosmetics and face brushes and makeup and stuff like that. I don't really buy too much makeup at a dollar because I'm just a little leery sometimes. <laughs> but one thing that we do buy a ton of here is pencils and markers and erasers. And here in Japan, they have these things that they're pencil lids. So you, all the kids put them on their pencils and they have like milk cartons and ice cream things. And then, of course, things. This is cars, and they have princesses. I mean, anything you can imagine. And then all the cute, cute erasers. Oh my goodness, like, look at this. How can you pass that up? Sushi erasers. I have to contain myself, otherwise I buy too much. <gasps> look at this. Who can resist all this glitter tape for a dollar? You laugh at me. <laughs> Then I buy a lot of stuff down this aisle. It's all paper supplies and I do crafts with the kids and like all the origami papers and box cutters and scissors and math and tape and play-doh and markers and cool paint. Oh my goodness. Okay, so right now at home we're making some stuffed animals. So the girls need stuffing. Here, put it in here. A couple of things like this glue gun it's 200 yen. So you do have to be careful because some things are a little different in price, but 98% of everything is 100 yen. This is all the craft supplies, all the gifting, all these cute little bags. Oh my goodness, and they're like Ziploc bags. I mean, how cute, oh my goodness, how cute are these bags? All the string, although I have not had too great of success with these th threat strings from Daiso. They seem to break easily so I do go to a craft store for my thread for my sewing machine. What do you like about Daiso dude? Um, the toys. The toys? Yeah they're pretty cool huh? Can I show you what I got? Okay about just... This? Oh my goodness! Oh yeah what else do they have here Joshua? Um, the gun! Oh the gun up there huh? Oh yeah, a cone. What is it? A pregnant thing, I think. So when you get not come down, when you have a big tummy, you just can pick it up. <laughs> There's more stuff. Like what? Oh! Like cars. Oh, you're right. You can't take them. They out. can't take them out. Yeah, they're not meant to be played with, are they? Mm -hmm. Only at home. Only if you buy them. That I'm makes gonna sense. Scare the alligators. So one thing I love is this thing. It's a knife sharpener. The stones are already tilted to the right angle, so all you have to do is slide your knife through and it sharpens it. It's perfect. Let me show you the lunch, the bento supplies. Here they have all these tiny little cute things that we can put your different little bento separate things in. Cute tiny ones, they have bigger ones, they have thematic ones, and then they have all these little sticks, like you can put them in sausages or in 
apples or in fruit. And then these, you can make shapes with. So you put your rice in that and you push it down, it comes out into little shapes. And they have these little ones that you cut out the seaweed, the nori, to make the eyes and nose. And then they have some that just make little rice balls, also with the little faces on them, so it makes it easier to put the nori on it. And then they have these tiny little containers for sauces. Look at these for soy sauce. You squeeze it in, you put it in the bento, it's disposable. They squeeze out their soy sauce and it's all done. How oh, cute! Well, honey. I forgot my mommy. You forgot your bunny. Okay, mommy can lend you some money, okay? And then they have all the ice packs. They have big ice packs, small little ice packs to put in your lunch bags. They have tons of options of thermal lunch bags. Of course, these, you have to see, they're 200 yen. They have all the wrapping for your onigiri, the right size, and you can put your, your nori on it and it won't get mushy. And here's all your bento boxes. Of course, these are a little bigger, so they are a little more expensive. I bought something like this for camping. It's got cups in it, a dollar. And then they have all these different, like this is just a dollar bento box. They have your little ones. You can buy your chopstick sets. You can buy these tiny little ones that come with chopsticks and fork and spoon, and you attach them to the handle so they're very compact. These the kids like. It's a fork and spoon and mini chopsticks all in it. Of course, that one, see, it's 150, but still. They have some great cleaning supplies that I love. Here, come, let me show you. Okay, they have these, in English, I guess they're called mosquito net dish cloth. I love these. I usually actually get this one because there's three in here for a dollar. And they're great for wiping off your counter and around your kitchen and sink and stuff. And then they have all these mini little stainless steel scrubbers. They're great because they're pretty much disposable. You use it one time, you can throw it away because you get eight for a dollar. Here in Japan, our sinks are huge and they have this catch-all little drain thing that you put a little bag in and we don't have garbage disposals, but then they can end up getting mildewy. So then you put these, they're slime removers, you hang them inside the dish drain, see that? And it helps keep the mold and slime away. These are very, very useful. Actually, I need a new brush while I'm here. You can buy your gloves, you can buy disposable gloves, which during Corona season now, we kept some of these disposable gloves in our car. So when we pump gas, we don't have to touch Corona infested stuff. Huh? Can I have them? You don't even use those. They're for pencils. You don't have pencils yet. And then they also have all your gardening and pet needs. Watch. Here's all the pots for gardening. Oh. And then all your little supplies. Is that my kid? No, it's not my kid. Scissors, cutters, things to help weeds not to grow. All your spray bottles and hose attachments and green zip ties so that your plants can, you can zip tie them and it doesn't look like you've zip tied it because it's green. Oh, and these, I have a lot of these in my backyard because we have cats that come in and poop in our backyard. They put these down so that they can't step on them, step on the dirt. <laughs> Don't, cat. <laughs> Don't do it. Then here's all your pet toys. Nail clippers, brushes, leashes, fish supplies. Oh, and then tools. Tons of tools. In another life, I would probably be a mechanic. No, I wouldn't. I'd be a woodworker. But still, these tools are very enticing. Oh, look, they have a cute toolbox. I could use a toolbox. Oh, that's very cute. Gloves for working in the for yard. For kids. Look, that's cool. For kids. For kids. That's so nice. One thing I really love are Ziploc bags. And look at these designs. I mean, they have tiny ones, which are great for medicines and stuff. And just cute. I mean, hello. If you just have to take a couple coins with you or a little bit of money. Oh my goodness. It's so, so enticing to buy. I need to buy these hooks, they're metal hooks, because the girls hang their backpacks on the side of their bed, and we had plastic hooks, and they just were not holding up well enough, so I'll try these. And my kids also love this, because they can come in and buy snacks for a dollar. Sometimes it's like three snacks for one dollar, or four snacks for one dollar, as Becca's telling me. To other places, it is a little cheaper, because like these, Simbe's, which are some of our favorites, they're rice crackers, 
they're a dollar here, but next door, they're like 87 yen. <laughs> so you just gotta know what to buy where. But in a pinch, you just send the kids here and they can grab it for you. Soups and seasonings and sauces and vinegar. Here's all your travel things and like thermal aluminum covers and puke bags for when you're sick and toilet covers. Your own personal toilet covers, Your nice. Toilet cover. Look at what all we got for 18 bucks. They don't give you bags in stores in Japan. You have to either bring your own or buy them. They're cheap to buy, they're like three cents, five cents. And another very interesting thing about Japan is that the checkout people don't bag your groceries. Even at grocery stores, you have to bag your own groceries. I used to think, oh, it'd be so cool to bag my own groceries. But now when I go to America, I'm so thankful they bag my groceries. <laughs> okay, we're going back home. Most of the stuff goes upstairs. Time to sort through the spoils, huh? Oh, yes. You put these hooks where they belong. <laughs> See, my previous metal were not strong enough. Ooh, that's nice. They work great. If I ever have leftovers, I use them for my coat rack out, out there. Because now come winter, the kids need a place to hang their coats. And that's what that nifty little thing over there is. Put things on the steps because that way, then when we go up, we carry them out. Go upstairs. Well, upstairs is like art and crafting space today. We've got sewing, we've got drawing. The TV is so beautiful. I've never seen the TV this beautiful before. That one's brand new. Yeah, well, I forgot about that. That's been a long time. You were, you were four years old. It was brand new. So six years ago. Three. And a two. And a three, two, one. <coughs> that, that has to work. What you working on, Sarah? This drawing. Did you get these at Daiso? Yeah. Show me, how does it work? It's like this is a special pencil, right? See these lines? You gotta draw on them. Watch. Yay. And then the colors will just come out. It's gonna take long. Okay. Like for maybe like 30 minutes. Okay. Very nice. You stuffing your creations here? Yeah. What are you making, Rebecca? A monkey. Mm -hmm. For Joshua. Aww. How about you, Anna Cakes? A purple elephant. Full salad. <laughs> so put this on your camera. Oh. Oops. And those are just some of the things that we like from the Daiso or the Hyakuen shop. Please, if there's something that you think I should look at at the dollar store, let me know in the comments. And as always, please subscribe if you haven't yet. And we'll see you next time on Life in Japan. Mm -hmm.